Hey guys, welcome to another Altium Designer tutorial. If you're new to this channel, we basically make PCB tutorials on KiCad and Altium every Wednesday. And then I will sh I'll slowly teach you guys about PCB design. Our goal is to show you guys that anyone can do PCB design. So our tutorials are really starting from the basic, from first principles and working up so you can make a complex design. This video, I'm gonna talk about how to order a PCB. So if, you've, if you have not watched our previous videos, um, about creating a schematic and then creating a PCB, please go watch that because that will build up to this. So in this video, we're going to look about how do I generate files that I can send to manufacturing manufacturer called the fabrication house that can make the PCB for me and then ship it to me and I'll have in my hands the real life PCB that you just made on the computer. And that's a pretty awesome feeling to have. And I'll, that's what I want to give you guys. So if you like this video, please thumbs up, subscribe and leave a comment below what you guys would want more videos about. And if you have any questions about this tutorial that I, that you feel I don't explain too well or I'm missing a point somewhere, please ask and I will try to help you in the comments. Or if you want to, you can join the Discord channel where I try to answer all the questions that I possibly can. Um, so guys, just enjoy and hopefully learn something. What we need to order PCBs from manufacturing manufacturer is it's called a Gerber file and drill files. So Gerber's is basically instructions for the manufacturing how to make this PCB without the components, of course, and it takes into account your layers. So these layers at the bottom are important. So I've got a top layer, which is my red, my bottom layer, which is the, bo which is the bottom, and then different layers here, my board outline. So we generate a file that has these layers in a specific specific way that the manufacturer can understand. So it's almost like a print instruction. So they get these Gerbers, they put it in their system, and they know exactly how to print your board. That's why it's called a printed circuit board, because in the olden days you could actually print this and make it at home. So let's generate these Gerbers. To generate these Gerbers, we have to go to File, Fabrication, Output. So when you order PCB from let's say PCB way or JLPCB, they are known as fabrication houses. So that's why we call this fabrication outputs because um, they make the PCB, they fabricate it. So you can see on the right here, we've got Gerber files and Gerber files X2. We're just going to focus on Gerber files for today, but all these files, your manufacturer, your fabricating house will understand and be able to use. So once we click on the Gerber files, you'll see this pops up with inches and millimeters. Uh, you can leave it on inches and then layers. This is the important part. Here we tell our fabrication house or manufacturer which layers they need to print for us. So the top layer is your copper layer, the red where the tracks are. You'll see these layers match the layers at the bottom. So we want our top layer for current and for your signal. Bottom layer is your blue one, same as your top layer, just the other side of the PCB. The top overlay is your text over here, the P1 and my first project. So you see, this is my first project, P1, D1. That is your top overlay. And then top paste is not important for now, but it's basically what manufacturers use to create stencils. I will not go too much in stencils now. This will be a bit later when we build up nicely about the PCB design. I'll put a picture on the left hand side of what a stencil is. So we don't need that. We need your top solder. So your top solder is if you go to the bottom and like I said, all the layers are linked. So what happens when you click on top solder? There's our top solder. So there you can see if I push shift S, I will only get to the top solders. So top solder is actually a cutout in your solder mask. So when we look at a PCB, this green is called solder mask. And it's actually underneath, you'll see there's a lot of copper. So to get the copper outside to the real world, we have to open, have a solder mask opening. And that is what top solder does. So it tells us this area here, top solder, needs a cutout because we want to put our component on there and there's copper there. So it exposes the copper to the outside world so that we can solder our components onto the board. I hope that makes sense. So the green part is my solder or my solder mask, should I say. So the green part is my solder mask. And then our top solder is our solder mask opening, which we tell it, we tell the piece manufacturer, please don't put solder mask on there. 
I want the copper to stick out so that I can solder my components on there. So wherever you have components, you'll have a solder mask opening. And there you can see if we go to, this was top solder, like I said, the top side of the PCB. Now if we go to bottom solder, it should be the bottom side. Let's see, there we go. And there you can see over there. And that is this side also opening the copper so we can solder our components to it. You cannot solder to you cannot solder components onto your solder mask. You need some copper to get it nice and stuck. So I hope you understand what solder is now. Now let's go back to the Gerbers. Guys, as always, if my explanation is not clear enough, please leave a comment below and I'll try to explain it in a different way. I don't mind that at all. So now we've got top solder, we know that we want that. Uh, bottom solder we want as well. Base we don't care about bottom overlay, overlay we want. Another important one is board outline. So board outline is my yellow stripe, yellow lines at the end. This just shows us what the size of my board is. So this over here, you can see at the bottom here, I've got board outline, it's this layer here. So that is the size of my PCB. So if I increase it, let's see if I can click it. And I've made a tutorial about this. Guys, welcome to watch it. And I'll go design, board shape, define board shape, and you can see it increased. The yellow part is my board outline. So file, fabricate, curves. And so that's very important. We need to tell the manufacturer what the size of my PCB is. So we've got our top overlay we know about, we need top solder, we need bottom solder, paste we don't care about, bottom overlay. And assembly is not important for now, that'd be later when we send this for another company to populate the board for us. But this is only for the PCB. And that should be all for now. So I push OK, and you can see it popped up. So the manufacturer will see this, this is called your Gerbers, and you can see it almost looks like my PCB. So if you push plus and minus on your keyboard, you can actually go through the different layers. So there's my top overlay, there is my top solder, there's my, uh, my copper tracks, top, bottom, and bottom solder. So you can see all the layers we just printed. And there's my bottom overlay and board outline. So plus minus on the keyboard will toggle between this. So just be careful. This is called a CAM document. This is not your PCB document. This is your Gerbers. So what you can notice is I've got holes here, 3.3 volts ground, where I want to solder my other component on. And here, if I look at my full Gerber, by going panels, Camtastic, and then you'll see a thing like this pop on the side, and you can actually choose your layers. There's no holes here, as you can see. So what we have to do now is generate a draw file. So we do that the same way. We go file, export, not export, fabricate output, NC, draw files. So that we have to choose this one. We'll go through the others another video, but for now, just go with files and draw files is all you need. So we click on draw files and it'll pop up, keep it inches. Just make sure you keep both the same. Don't make one millimeters, one inches. And you can keep it like this and just push OK. And you'll see it pops the holes that we want. So if you look at our PCB, there's two holes and a hole there, and our drill file has two holes and a hole there. Now, where does Altium save this? Let's have a look. Your Gerbers will always be where you saved your project. So if, if you don't know where you saved it, you can just go File, Save Project As, and it'll give you the location. So mine was over here, and you can see my PCB. Now my Gerbers will always be on Project Outputs for my project. So Project Outputs for creating a schematic. And if I go there, I see these files. So let's just go through extensions. So you can see GBL is your Gerber bottom layer, Gerber bottom overlay, Gerber bottom solder, mechanical two, which is your board outline, Gerber top layer, Gerber top overlay, which is the text, Gerber top solder, and then you get your drill file files. So these are all your drill files. Um, so what you can do is you, have to send a zip file of the two. So you have to send your Gerbers with your draw file so it can know, they can know what to do. So we just go like this, we right click and we say send to zip and name it something fun, creating a schematic Gerbers. Uh, not very fun, but you can name it anything. And this file we will use for our manufacturer. So let me show you guys how to do that. So one manufacturer I use is JLCPCB 
and they've got a nice interface where you can quickly get a quote and all your PCBs. Um, this video is not sponsored by them. I use them and I use I use JLC PCB and PCB Way. But like I said, this is not sponsored. It's really just something I use quite often. So what you can do is quote now and then you can say add global file. So we can add our global file. We need to go to the place where we saved it and we just add this a file. So now if all goes well, it should sense the size of the board, it should sense the layers and all those wonderful things. And there you can see, it sensed the size of the board, it changed automatically, you can see I can not changes and it looks pretty much what we had over there in our Altium. So this became this, so this is a good sign. Uh, and then you can choose the color, I like to make it black and don't worry too much about the other other stuff we'll speak about later. And your generic PCB thickness is normally 1.6 millimeters. And then you can just save to cart and go through the order and purchase it. And it should by, be by you in a, a week, not more than two. Um, so you can see two dollars. Shipping is actually more important. Uh, more shipping is actually more costly than the PCB. And you can do see the same with PCB way over there and add Google file. So you can see it picked up the size and will show the PCB. So all the PCB manufacturer kind of has this interface where you can actually see it before you even order it. And that's it. So we spoke about the Gerber files. So the Gerber files is basically just like an instruction set you send to the fabrication hours, like a printing file, almost sending something to a printer and it prints out. So they can use those files. We spoke about the different layers. That's very important. Like your top layer, your bottom layer, your overlay, and all that stuff. So hopefully you guys can see how that gets linked to the PCB manufacturing process and also the draw files where you can see where you have to draw the holes. Guys, if this was useful, please like, subscribe, it helps us a lot. Or it just actually just helps us to know that what we're doing is helpful. Um, and just leave a comment below if there's anything you guys want help with. Um, other than that, see you guys again, same time, same place next week for a new tutorial. So either it'll be KiCad or Altium. So I do do both. If you've not seen our KiCad playlist yet, we've got about over 50 KiCad videos and we're about 10 at Altium now. So I would like to get that almost even, maybe 100 each. Um, other than that guys, have a great week, great weekend wherever in the world, whenever you're watching. Until next time, bye.